What's going on guys? This is Raymond Iron by McKinney. Today, I want to talk about becoming the master over your own thought patterns. To be the a conscious observer of your thought patterns. That when you become more increasingly observant of what you're thinking, then you'll start to notice patterns. Because there are always patterns, guys. There's patterns. Even when we, uh, when, we make, um, when we think about things just happen randomly, that's a pattern too. A pattern of randomness. And, and in the grand scheme of things, guys, nothing's random. Nothing's by accident. It's what you think all day long. Like Ralph Waldo Emerson says. Whatever you think about all day long. That, or he said something like, we become what we think about all day long. So, the person we think like, when we think of it, thinking from a state, thinking into a state on a frequent, habitual basis, that's who we become. So, I don't, I don't like to, again, now some people say stuff like, you have to feel, you have to feel in order to manifest. I... Nothing wrong with feeling, guys. I mean, if it works for some people, if they think it works for them, that works for them. They're, it's really thinking from the state. You're repetitively putting yourself in the state, whether it's visualization, affirmation, or um, self-talk, listening as though you're already in that state, implying that you're already in that state. Uh, I like to say, guys, it's your thought patterns that, um, because feelings, guys, the way I see feelings, feelings is like I meant, I, I'm sure I mentioned it before, but feeling is simply putting yourself in the mental state. That's the feeling. And, and the thought patterns uh, put you in that state, that feeling. The thought patterns automatically put you in that state. So when you become more observant of your thought patterns, you will notice that your behaviors start to change in relation to your thought patterns. And when your behavior, not only your behaviors change, but the uh, patterns outside of your body also rearrange and conform to your behavioral patterns, your thought patterns. Whatever, whatever thought patterns you live by, that's how the world's going to be. In a, it's going to be in a complete accordance to your thought patterns. If you think of some, and maybe something like if you're th trying to, maybe someone is thinking. I'm thinking of abundance of money, and maybe some people will be like, well, I'm not getting a lot of money. Or It doesn't have to... When you think of money, for example, don't limit yourself to thinking you have to have a lot of money like rushing into your life. I mean, yeah, that's... Be open to that, too. But I'm saying also is like... Things like you don't have to... Like expenses, for example... Expenses, you could have fewer expenses because you're changing your mindset around money where you don't have to owe so much. It can work in so many ways, guys. But the whole idea is, guys, to change your mindset around these things, money, relationships with people, um, your health, all these things. Don't be so closed-minded to how things show up. It's literally... Changing, it's changing. It's it's a lifestyle, guys. Don't always focus on the like finite results. Yeah, the whole point of manifesting is experiencing the results. But on the in the grand scheme of things, it's changing your lifestyle, changing the way you look at the world, yourself in relation to the universe, and you make it a habitual lifestyle. And when you stick with it, it gets easier to live by. It may seem hard at first because you're not used used to changing your thought patterns. Where, like, where we live in survival, where we're in bodies, we uh, function under survival. And we're not, and many of us aren't used to thinking, uh, change, like, um, changing different ways of thinking. Like, um, you know, things can trigger us. Things trigger me too sometimes, guys. But you get better uh, you know, maybe if you get triggered in the moment, then you realize you can redirect your thoughts, think, and to uh, focus on other things. Maybe something triggered you in the moment, but as soon as possible, 
you can redirect those thoughts and put your attention on something else. It gets easier as you put your as you um, make this a lifestyle, guys. I promise you that. And um, yeah, and I even talked about well, in one message, like I, when it comes to feeling. Um, you know, maybe you've heard like Neville Goddard talking about feeling as a secret, and I don't really take it as like emotion necessarily. Of course, emotion can help trying to really those elated feelings, but it's really the way I see guys is putting yourself in the mental state to dwell in the mental state um, by folk by redirecting your thought patterns, your self narrative, the story you tell yourself, what you focus on. That's how the state's going to reveal itself to you. You frequently put yourself into that state, that already existing state, through your self-narrative. Focus self-narrative. And everything else just closes out. One door closes, another one opens. One door closes, another one opens. The old version of yourself, when you, like if you don't like the state you're in, you just notice it. And you turn your attention towards another state, a, great, a better version of yourself. If you don't like the version of yourself, change the narrative around that. Make it a, a repetitive, make it a habitual lifestyle to change, to transmute your weaknesses into strengths. Recognize your strengths are already there. You already have everything you need. It's simply recognizing what you already are. Nothing is earned or lost or anything like that. You don't strive to keep going and thinking, I'm working as hard as I can and I'm not getting anywhere. It's simply recognizing that you already are that, guys. Becoming increasingly aware of what already exists within yourself. Waiting to be awakened and projected outward and expressed forth. So guys, I hope this video helps. And I bless you all, and happy manifesting. Well, the Iron Body do. I am the Iron Body. I've always been a master magician. And manifesting is so easy for me. I don't entertain any other thoughts other than those kind of thoughts. And when those register to my mind on a habitual basis, that's what my brain becomes familiar with. And that's how I behave. That things are just so easy for me. Manifesting is so easy. Things in my life are just so easy because my brain, because I've hardwired my brain into thinking everything's so easy. Hack your mind. That's how you hack your mind. Hack your brain. Whatever you suggest to your brain on a habitual basis, that's how it's going to reveal itself relative to you. So I bless you all guys and happy manifesting.